The man is a war criminal. A protester shouting accusations against former British Prime Minister Tony Blair interrupted proceedings at a UK inquiry into press standards. The presiding judge, Lord Levison, moved to restore calm, offering an apology and promising an explanation. And I'll have an investigation undertaken about that immediately. <clears throat> I apologize. Blair had been called on to discuss his relationship with the media in the wake of the phone hacking scandal in Britain, which has drawn attention to the close links between British politicians and the press. Blair said he chose not to challenge the status quo as a matter of political pragmatism. With any of these um, big media groups, you fall out with them and you watch out because it's, uh, it is literally relentless and unremitting once that happens. And my view is that that is what creates this situation in which these um, media people get a, a power in the system that is unhealthy and which I felt throughout my time uncomfortable with. Now, as I say, I took the decision, and this I'm well aware could be subject to, to criticism. I took the strategic decision to manage this, not confront it. Um, but the power of it is indisputable. Blair is a divisive figure in the UK. He led the Labour Party to three consecutive general election victories, entering Downing Street to the tune of Things Can Only Get Better in 1997, leaving ten years later likening the media to feral beasts. He conceded that he'd courted the favour of the Murdoch media empire, but said he didn't change his policies to appease News Corp boss Rupert Murdoch. You know, I would describe my relationship with him as a working relationship until after I left office. So I got to, you know, I know there's been all this stuff about me being godfather to his, one of his children, I would never have become a godfather to his child on the basis of my relationship with him in office. But after I left, I got to know him better, and frankly, the relationship can be a lot easier. As measured and considered as ever, Blair's testimony still represented an unprecedented insight into the inner workings of his government.